Hello Aquarius, welcome to your energy reading and this is for the first half of February. Let's see what comes up for you on the first half of February for Aquarius. This is a general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest. Not every message is going to resonate for you because this is general and not specific to um, whatever you're going through. So take what resonates and drop the rest, okay? So we're going to cut the deck. We're going to see what the energy is at the bottom. This is Page of Swords. Hmm, interesting. Page of Swords usually is about vigilance, about examining things, taking a close look at what is happening. So Aquarius, my sense is that you are going, uh, you're taking a closer look at what's going on in your life. So we have Nine of Wands. Okay, Nine of Wands usually it's about resilience, about boundaries, but you're being a bit guarded. Ace of Pentacles, a lot of new opportunities coming your way. Three of Pentacles as well. So this is energy at the bottom, which I'm going to put aside. All right. So Three of Pentacles is about teamwork, collaboration. Um, Ace of Pentacles is new opportunities. Um, let's take some clarifiers, okay? Because I'm curious to know what is it exactly, right? Nine, nine, of, uh, nine of Wands, right? What is it that you are being guarded? Like you are keeping your boundaries really, really clear. Um, I feel perhaps Aquarius, this has to do with a personal relationship that relationship that you have. Um, a, a part of you wants to keep your boundaries very clear. You don't want you don't want somehow you don't want the relationship to overlap. Maybe you are maybe you are working with this person as well, and you have a friendship with them, and so you you are keeping your boundaries really clear. But in terms of your, um, your professional life, right, work-wise, it, it looks good, right? So the potential for uh, working as a team is fantastic and new opportunities coming your way as well. I feel this one, yeah, perhaps it has to do with someone that you're working with who, whom you now have a closer relationship with and maybe you are in a romantic relationship with them even. So this that can happen, right? The cards seem to be indicating that. So let's see. Let's pick some clarifiers here for you, Aquarius. I'm going to pick um, two cards uh, each for these cards here. Okay, so if the message resonates with you so far, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. So we have one here, King of Cups. Okay, King of Cups. King of Cups is like, you know, a, a sense of calmness, a sense of stability. So, so you feel that you, when, you, when you keep your calm, when you, have, when you feel stable emotionally, then, you know, or it's the other way around, actually. You keep your boundaries clear, then you will have the emotional stability and the calmness that you are looking for. That seems to be indicating that with regards to your relationship with this person, okay? Queen of Wands, okay. So king and queen energy, but they're from different suits. So queen of Wands is, you know, more about confidence uh, in your ability. You are confident that when you keep your boundaries clear, you are confident that things will work out better, all right? So go with that. I, I feel like it's important that you trust your intuition about this. Okay, let's pick clarifiers for Ace of Pentacles. Opportunities, so lovers. Okay, this is definitely a confirmation <laughs> about what I talked about. So it is uh, a relationship that you have with someone that you're working very closely with, but you also have a, a personal relationship with them and you want to keep your boundaries clear. So this is about this. So either you are in a relationship with them already or you are seeing the potential in this person as a potential romantic partner, someone that you're working with, some someone that you are connected with professionally, you feel like there is potential for you to, I mean, it could be your boss, could be your <laughs> somebody, right? That you that you feel like there's a potential for you to have a romantic relationship. 
you know, it's not a bad thing. Or, I mean, there's no judgment. And I feel the boundaries is wise, right? Having that clear boundaries is wise. Now, if you're not looking for a relationship, then this is about commitment with self, right? Having a deeper connection with self, a deeper commitment to what is it that you wish to manifest because you do have an opportunity here. If, you're, if you are committed just to your, your professional life, like you're not interested in a new relationship or maybe you are in a relationship already and you know it's not your thing to 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 seek out a new relationship then it's about commitment um to what you loved commitment to your passion okay and then we have four of swords so you're still thinking you're unsure about this huh <laughs> you're unsure uh you're still thinking let's see what else Okay, you are unsure. This is interesting. So you're keeping your boundaries clear, potential for a new relationship, but you're still thinking, you're not sure. Is there's an opportunity that has presented itself? So there's also an opportunity for you to deepen the relationship with this person, but you are not sure. You are, you, you are still thinking about it. You have doubts. Um, but here it's about professional life, about teamwork, about working together. It's not time to harvest yet. You still need to plan your roots, work together, and then follow your North Star. You can make a wish. Follow North Star means following your higher guidance. Okay. I feel like this message is not complete. Let's get... Um, let the oracle do the talking. Okay, so let's have a clarifier from the oracle. What is this one? As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming your, coming to you now. Okay, so this is more about this. Let's have some clarifiers about this. This opportunity and then this lovers and then you're still thinking about it. You're not sure. It's like you're trying to hide away or run away from this opportunity. Are you Aquarius? Let's see. Victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you in the next step. Ah, you're ending a cycle. Now that makes sense. So, so because you're ending a cycle, you're not sure whether you want to move forward with this to make that deeper commitment. That's okay. I mean, you don't have to. I feel like you need to wait it out because... Uh, Keep a focus on the teamwork, you know, uh, plant the roots, follow the guidance of your North Star. And I feel that after these two weeks, you may have some clarity about this. But let's pick some cards from future self. What does future self say with regards to this situation, right? Let's see, Aquarius, what's up for you? Let's see, Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, if the message resonates, give me a like and subscribe to my channel so more people can get the guidance that we're looking at. Oh my God, too many here. Okay, let's open this and see. Ace of Pentacles, right? We have Ace of Pentacles here. It's talking about the same thing. An opportunity, a very good opportunity. So this is to see the future energy. So it seems to me uh, in the next two weeks, there is a new opportunity coming your way. And this opportunity has to do with a deeper connection with a new lover or existing lover uh, or, you know, a deeper commitment to your passion. But then you, you are not sure, you're hesitating, you know, like you're thinking, should I do this or not? But at the end of the two weeks, you get another opportunity. So even if you decide not to say yes to this, you will have another opportunity. So, so that's good. So don't rush, okay? What else? What else for Aquarius? This is energies from future self. We want to know, like after the two weeks, what sort of energies 
Aquarius going to be working with? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, another Pentacles card. Pentacles is really, you know, about, um, hey, <laughs> you have Seven of Pentacles here too. So it's about resting, right? Just planting roots. You don't have to harvest now. Confirmation again. Oh, I can't remember from which side. But let me shuffle them again. I get one more. Wow. So you really need to wait then. You really need to wait. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so you really need to wait. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is just being comfortable where you are in your comfort zone. Um, emotionally, you're not quite ready. Well, only you can answer this, okay? What this card is saying is as if emotionally, you're not quite ready. You are still waiting. Um, you're comfortable where you are. And I feel like you, you don't want to move out of there. <laughs> Why don't you want to move out of there? Uh, Okay, that's why you're guarded. Nine of Wands, you're guarded. You have your boundaries up. What's going on there? You're contented where you are. You don't want to take things further. You want you don't want things to develop further. There's like emotionally, you're very contented and you don't want to rock the boat. What's going on? But there's something, you know, like. I mean, there are other people involved. If there are other people involved in this, what is saying is that the other people are not happy. So then you may get to a point, like a crossroad, where, where the other party is asking for a deeper commitment, but you're not giving it, whether work-wise or, you know, in your personal life. Then that's where you, make, you may need to make a, a new decision, right? Um, but if this is about your relationship with self and you're happy where you are, then, you know, then just be happy where you are. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's not, gonna, it's not affecting anyone else. But if this has someone else in the picture and it's affecting someone else, then you certainly do need to make another decision that will be, that, you know, both parties, yourself and the other party will be happier. If not, then someone has to let go, right? So we have four of ones, okay? So here is about um, stability. You're happy where you are because you feel stable. But there is also energy of celebration and marriage coming together. So you may change your mind, which is fine. Then Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Unexpected events may take place. And then it may change your mind. It may change your mind about getting out of the comfort zone, Aquarius. So wait it out. Wait for the opportunities to turn, right? Wait for the Wheel of Fortune to turn around. And you have seven of cups. Okay, this one again is the indecision that we talked about. So you need to go into hermit mode a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So hermit mode means, you know, just retreat, have some rest, think about things, no hurry, allow it to take root, follow North Star, healing is required. Don't rush. You know, you can, you can make a decision out of fat, right? I mean, you don't have to make a decision now. Okay. All in all, a good reading, very good reminder for you on, you know, what is important in life for you, right? Important to make decisions that are right for you first and foremost. Um, I feel it's healthy to have boundaries, to have clarity before you jump into anything. So that's good. So Aquarius, I feel this, this particular reading, right? The energies is, it's a little bit 
um, different from your usual. And also the energies is quite different from how you would usually respond because you're quite usually quite quick to respond and make decisions which may, or maybe, no, what happens usually is you overthink. <laughs> but in this situation, you're not. You're actually following your heart. So that's a good thing, right? It's a pause, it's, it's progress, Aquarius. So um, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if the message resonates with you. I hope to hear from you. You know, do comment below. And uh, I like to know what's going on and what decision you, you know, are you going to wait it out? You know, what's, what's going to happen for you? Uh, I welcome your um, participation in the comments below. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.